Today I'm going to be making a dark UK drill type beat, like a really classic one, 140 BPM with dark wires, maybe a reese bass and uh, a reverse vocal sample or something like that. I believe in the last video I said something like, I just want to see if I can make some different subgenres of drill that aren't necessarily just dark pianos and spooky vocals, you know. After doing that for like 20 times in a row, it gets old, so I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. I ended up wanting to make this style again, even though I've made it like thousands of times basically. Half of my beats folder from the past two years is just similar to the beat that I'm about to make now so it's been a while so let's just see what I can come up with. We want to make a dark drill melody we're going to need a choir but I am not rich enough to afford all of the nice choir plugins so I'm just going to use a digital one because I am poor. The solution I've come up with is pretty simple. I'm going to use an analog 5 preset, I think, and I'm just going to come up with a chord progression and then half time it and reverse it. We'll see. Let's just figure something out. So I think there's a specific preset I like to use. It's called like Blue Monday something. Sounds kind of like this. I'm just going to come up with a chord progression. We're going to go like 1, 140 BPM. We need to get the root notes down first. I like that. I like that. Sounds kind of stupid. We're not going to keep it like that because, you know, we can't because it sounds stupid. I'm just going to clone this because I want another preset to stack with it. All right, we're just going to copy this into here and then see how this sounds. Well, I don't know why it's called Chamber Choir because it doesn't sound like a choir at all, but open Edison on play. Reverse this manually first. I'm gonna pitch it up so that when it's half times, it's in the same octave, but just sounds funny. I don't know how else to explain it. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so there's still the clicking sound, so I'm going to add some kickstart and just see what happens. So. I'm gonna add some crystal clear because I'm not out of some of the low end. Now I'm going to do a similar thing with the choir that isn't actually a choir. I'm probably going to edit this out for you because that took quite a long time and I'm going to let you know what it sounds like when it's done. I'm going to add probably a top line melody and background vocal and a bass line and then we'll start the drums. We're getting somewhere. All right, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Now I think I need a vocal sample. I'm calling for you. I'm calling for you. That might do it.
I think it's time to move on to the drums. I'm gonna keep it really simple with the drums, I think, so. We're now going to want to add some percussion elements. This theme makes it so difficult to see anything. Hold up, I need to change my theme. You know, I'm realizing something. All my themes kind of suck. <laughs> um, we'll go with this one. This one, you can see the percussion a bit easier. Let's put this down like two octaves and see what it sounds like. <laughs> All right, the slides sound a bit stupid. They still sound a bit stupid. We might want a different 808. I don't think it should follow the root notes of the re-space. I think it should just be like all one note basically. I've just realized as well, there's like no EQ on the melody so that the bass line can really punch through, so I'm gonna add that now. I kind of just forgot to add all of the effects that are important to the melody, but it's fine, I'm doing it now. Beat's basically done, I just need to mix the percussion and the bass line and then arrange the beat. And what I'll probably do is make multiple 808 patterns so it doesn't get boring because right now the 808's really simple, so...
Let's arrange the beat now. Basically done. So let's just finish it up. to make the kick pattern match the second part of the 808 pattern so all right i think it's missing one thing and then it's done there it is The beat's basically done. Overall, I'll probably tweak a couple of things about the melody and change the vocals around for something more ambient. I'm probably going to add a couple more effects and, you know, rises and stuff before I put it out to these. But the beat's basically done. So let's just listen to it and see what I could have improved on for next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.